Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course in this episode we are going to continue our study of radioactivity. We are going to look at radiations. Radiations. Okay, so uh, it is important to, to like this video because other students will easily find this video and learn once you like. So please, be, before continuing, just click on that like button as you are watching now. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Subscription is F R O E E. It is free, so you are not paying for subscription. All right, so please, just click on that red subscribe button below this video now as you are watching, and do not forget to share this video to your friends, to your class group, to your loved ones who are preparing for this examination. All right, this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the old three school jump app. We're going to go to the app now and see a question concern what uh, concerns was uh, uh, what we want to talk about today okay so uh, uh this is 2001 question number six 2001 question six it says cancerous growth cancer it is being displayed on the screen right now cancerous growth are cured by exposure to a you say uh, uh that's a gamma rays b beta rays c alpha rays d X rays. Okay, so they say cancerous growth are cured by exposure to. I'm going to what see uh, it in this topic as we discuss what radiation. These are many more questions I are going to see at the end of the class, not before. So I will oblige you to stay in the end of the class. And of course, do not forget to go to Play Store and download the application. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. The O3 School Jump app. Ask all the past questions. So no need to go and buy past questions outside. Ask a classroom with lecture notes structured according to the Jump syllabus. So you don't need to go and buy textbooks. Okay, there's a question start feature. We can start for question according to topics. All right. Also, we have the UTM mock challenge every Saturday where you compete with your mates. Okay, win amazing prizes. I uh, get you to jump past and likely exam questions. See your result release every Saturday after the mock, and so it beats your confidence towards the main exam. Activation is just for a little fee. Pay the sacrifice. Pass your exam at once. All right. So please, let's go to radiations. So there are different types of what? There are different types of radiations that are emitted by radioactive substances. Okay, there are what different type of radiations that are what emitted by radioactive substances. Uh, number one, one of them is what? Number one, we have what? Alpha, alpha radiations. Alpha radiations. Okay, or oh, say alpha rays. Okay, so say what alpha what particles or what alpha radiations. Okay, so either you call them alpha particles. Okay, or what alpha radiations or alpha rays. Okay, so this is what one of what the radiation that's emitted by what by radiate by radioactive or substances. Okay, this one is what alpha. Okay, some people write their alpha like this or like a. Okay, but this R will do our alpha. All right, so say that this or this. Okay, that is the symbol for the presenting what uh, alpha radiations. All right, then also number two, we have uh, beta radiation. Okay, beta radiations. Okay, which that is what? Beta, that is the symbol, B with the long tail here. Then C, we also have gamma radiations. Gamma radiations. Okay, which is what represents by the way, that is gamma. This is what gamma or radiation. That is the symbol for gamma radiation. Then the fourth one I'm going to see D is what? Is X-rays. Okay, X-rays. All right. So please, these are what um uh, different type of what radiation that are what that are emitted by what by radioactive what substances. Okay, and then it is possible for an electron. It is possible for an electron of low energy to collapse into the nucleus, okay, of an atom. All right. It is possible for an electron of low energy to collapse into the nucleus of an atom. All right. So if you have what uh, an atom like this, okay, this is the case here. Let's say this is the nucleus. Okay, this is it. You know the nucleus of an atom is positively charged, right? So nucleus, nucleus of an atom is what is positively charged. It's usually what positively charged. Okay, because in the nucleus we have what. Protons, we have neutrons. Protons are positively charged. Okay. Neutrons are what? Neutral. Okay. That makes the overall charge on nucleus to be what? To be positive. So the nucleus is positive, but we have electrons that are what? That are revolving what? Around what? The word, the nucleus. Okay. And the electrons are what? They are what? They are negatively charged. Okay. So nucleus is positively charged. Electrons are what? They are what? They are negatively charged. That's minus VE now. They are negatively charged. All right? So we are saying it is possible for an electron of low energy. You know, this is the K shell. This is the first shell, which is the K shell. Okay? K, they don't have L, M, N shell. Okay? So this shell, this L shell is of higher energy than this K shell. 
And what you are saying is that it is possible for an electron in this word case to collapse into the nucleus. Okay, and when this happens, okay, because for this nucleus is positive and this electron is negative, there is a possibility that what the world they will attract because they have what unlike charges. Okay, so because of their attraction, this what uh electron in this case here can collapse into what this what uh into this nucleus. So it, the nucleus will attract it to itself. So in that uh, uh one when that happens, we call that phenomenon e capture. E capture. It simply means what electron what electron capture. Okay, so when that happens, whereby the electron, whereby the nucleus what attracts the electron, okay, from what from the case shell, all right, you can call that what an electron capture. That means captured or it attracts the electron to itself. So that's why I think that well, it is possible for an electron in this energy shell that has low energy to what to collapse into the nucleus. So when that happens, we say it is called what e-capture or electron capture. And because the electron is from the K-shell, we can call it, instead of e-capture, we can also say what is what called what K-capture. We can say it's also what K-capture because the electron that was captured is from the what? Is from the, uh, the K-shell. So K-capture does not lead to emission of radiations. Please take note. Okay? K-capture. This, uh, this K capture, when the energy from this low energy, when the electron for this low energy or shell collapses the nucleus, it does not lead to emission. Note that it does not lead to what? To emission of what? Of electrons. Okay? Please, it does not lead to what? To emission of electrons. Instead, what happens is that what? Uh, it's equivalent to the word positron emission. Okay, what happens is that what it is equivalent, it does not lead to what? To the emission of electrons, but it is equivalent to the positron emission. Positron. Okay, so it does not lead to what to uh what do you call it to the emission of radiation, but it is what equivalent to the what to the positron what emission. This positron emission leads to what to the decrease. It leads to a decrease in the effective nuclear charge. Okay, it leads to a what to a decrease to a decrease in the effective nuclear charge. Okay, so please take note of that. All right, so uh, like we said, this K capture does not lead to emission of electrons. It says it's equivalent to what to the positron em emission, which would lead to a decrease in the effective what nuclear what charge. It leads to a decrease in the effective nuclear charge. However, when a captured electron is replaced, okay, when a captured electron like this one now, this case shell now, this electron that was, that was captured from, from this case shell, when it is replaced by an electron with a higher energy, let's say an electron from, from the L shell now, okay? So from the first stage, it was captured, uh, this case shell, electron from the case shell was, that, that collapsed into the nucleus, okay? If an electron from what? A higher energy level, okay? Is what? Now what replaces what? This what? Uh, electron from what? From this case shell, okay? What happens is that what? Uh, emission of what x rays happens. Okay, what is what emitted is what is what is x rays. Okay, so we say what x rays are what are emitted. This x rays here we're talking about. Okay, so we say when the captured electron is replaced by an outer electron of higher energy, there is emission of x rays. Whose energy, the energy of this x ray now will be what the energy difference, energy difference now in this space. The energy of what of that what uh, uh of this what x ray would be what the energy difference, energy difference between what the electron that was what, that was lost that this electron in the what in this case shell and the one that what that replaces it. So it's like the energy difference between what the these two what electrons, the electron that was lost from this case shell and this electron that what that has replaced it. Okay, so that is what that will not be what the uh the energy of what of the X ray. Okay, so X rays are said to be uh, emitted when fast moving electrons are allowed to bombard some metals. Okay, X rays are emitted when fast moving electrons, fast moving electrons are allowed to bombard some metals. Some metals are allowed to bombard some metal. That's how what extras what are made. Okay, when fast moving electrons are allowed to bombard what some metals, then we now get what what to call what extras. All right. So extras are also called they are also called Rongin rays. Take note of that. Okay, extras are also called Rongin rays. Let me write that down. Uh, also called Rongin rays. This is what R O N T G E N. 
X rays are also called Rongin rays. It was what discovered by what by Wilhelm Rongin. Okay, it was one that discovered what X rays. Okay, so please take note of that. So that's how also called X rays Rongin what rays. Okay, so there are two type of X rays we are going to look at. We are going to look at what hard or soft and hard what and hard X rays. Okay, those are the two type of X-rays that we have. Soft and hard X-rays are the two types of, of X-rays that we have. Soft X-rays are those ones that are used in photography. Okay, they are used for what? In photography to, to, what? to visualize what? Internal structures. Okay, so that is what? Soft X-ray. They are used what? In, what? in photography to what? To visualize internal structures. Okay, it can also be what? Used to what? To, to visualize what? The structure of compounds. Okay, can also be used to uh, visualize the structure of, of compounds. Why this hard X hard X rays? Okay, that the ones that are used for what for killing cancerous cells. Take note, they are used for killing or curing cancerous cells. Cancerous cells. Okay, so for curing cancer. Okay, so hard X rays are used for curing or killing cancerous cells. While soft X rays are used what in photography to visualize to visualize what internal what structures okay or what the internal what structures of what of compounds or so to check what the what the structure the internal structures of what of compounds so that is all about what the uh, radiations okay so we have what alpha we have beta we have gamma then we have what X rays okay we have seen what how X rays come about okay so. In the next episode, we are going to go toward detection of radiation. All right, so before we go, let us see some questions from the O3 School Jam app to cement the knowledge you have built from this class. 2001 question 6, we're looking at before they say, cancerous growth are cured, cured by exposure to, cured by exposure to what? To X-rays. A, say gamma rays. B, say beta rays. C, say alpha rays. D, say X-rays. Okay, so add X-rays at the one that cure what? Cancerous cells. So, they are X-rays. Now, 2022, number 22. Which of the following is not a major form of radioactivity? Which of the following is not a major form of radioactivity? A. Alpha particle. B. Beta uh, particle. C. Gamma radiation. D. Electric radiation. So we we'll talk about what? Alpha particle, yes. Talk about beta particle, okay. Then we we'll talk about what? Gamma or radiation. But we do not talk about what? Electric radiation in any way, okay. So electric radiation is the correct answer there, all right. So... This is a 2023 question number 22 also. A 2023 question number 22. All right, so they say, what is the symbol of an, uh, which of this, which is, okay, what is the symbol used to represent an alpha particle? Okay, so option A, you can see option B is beta, option C is gamma, option D is sigma. Okay, so the correct answer is what is option A. Okay, so that is that for that. So simple, simple questions that will come out that may mislead us. Right, so please download the applications, start practicing your way to success, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, and I'll see you in the next episode where we'll talk about detection of radiation. See you there.